Hey everybody, Intuitive Queen Shar is here. Happy Hump Day. And Heavenly Father, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Uh, Ransom Aaron, Susan, your package is on the way, sister, in New York. Um, just left the post office, ran a couple of errands. Looking to renew my passport. I want to go to the UK um, this year. That's going to be my vacation. I know one thing. Past lives, if they exist, which I'm like 100,000% sure, I was definitely British in my last life. I feel at home when I see videos of the UK. I feel like, oh, God. I, I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. And I'm going to go back home, okay? Um, just for a few days, get some fish and chips and shop and just exhale because I, I need a vacation. But you guys, um, again, thank God for another day of life. I'm all over the place today. I'm pretty okay. Um, I just need some me time. I, I really need some vacation time so I'm looking forward to this maybe October or so okay um all is well for the most part um somebody has a really nice spice rack don't ask me don't ask me somebody has a really nice spice rack a 30 spice holder for your spices 30 spice jars you have a really nice spice rack okay i just saw that um y'all as far as this person is concerned um the energy is still the same I, i'm y'all i'm sorry i told you in july i'm gonna probably try to force new energy but you know what until the majority of this energy clears up from this past person who does love you let me let me say this this is not everybody's reading i can't stress it enough Take what resonates with you. Um, some people in your past are just that, your past. And it hurts. Y'all have futures planned together. They sweet talk to you. They romance you. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Baby. And they had three, four other women on the side. They had a different man for every day of the week. And they're going to get karma. They're already getting it. And the number one karma is they lost you. Because a lot of y'all have pulled back. Common sense came around. And you realize I got had by a gigolo, by a freak of the week. But guess what? They're the ones that got played. They played themselves because all them people they screwing, they'll never, they will never on oh, my mother, my brother, Melvin, and all my cats in heaven. God, once in a lifetime, hand delivers you a blessing in the form of another person. And if you mess them over, oh, you can forget about it. All you're going to get is scallywags going forward. He said, I gave you the best of my best, and you treated them wrong, yet you treated them karmics like they were queens and kings. I tell you what, you go ahead on and stay with them, because my person has moved on. When I had that reading the other day, they said, go, go, go. There are people waiting right there, ready to go on the stage, and the stage is you, okay? All right, um, but they're going to try to circle back around because they've already sold their royal oats. They've already sampled all the chocolate in the, in the box. But I'm going to tell you something about a soul tie. Nobody feels right except for that soul person. Y'all, take it from me. You can have dated, I'm going to use myself, 50, I'm going to say 50 years. When you encounter your past life soulmate or your God-chosen soulmate, Twin Flame, Twin Flames are tricky. They, they got a lot of mess with them. They... The twin flame journey is not glamorous. It's a lot of, a lot of the weaker twin versus a stronger twin. Uh, a lot of tug of war. You're most likely the female is a stronger twin. That's what it's been proven. So you're constantly trying to teach your, your, your counterpart, your male twin, and they depend on you. You feel like if you leave them, they're going to be just abandoned. But at some point, they're going to have to, matter of fact, it can be right now, they're going to have to stand up and be their own man or woman. But it's usually the female who's a stronger twin. We're the queens. We're the, the empresses. And we got to pull them up. So, confirmation. Okay? Um, that's why some of us feel like joined at the hip with this person. You feel like if you abandon them, you're disappointing God. Do what you can for them, but you got to let them out on their own. You, what, what's the word? When your kids, they got to fly the nest. They got to get out there. You got to let cut the apron strings. 
And when you two are both equally yoked, you're going to come together, Lord willing, and set this world on fire or have one of the best relationships in the world. That's why the devil is so hell-bent on sending karmics, interruptions, drugs, alcohol, uh, sex addictions, crack, uh, whatever, weed, whatever, to separate you. You're like up here and your twin is down here just, just waddling in cesspool. You be like, I can't. I can't right now. You got to get yourself together and meet me when you ascend, okay? But he's mad because he know you all are chosen to be together. But like I said yesterday, no devil in hell is going to break up what's meant to be. It may take 15 years. I know you don't want to hear it. You may get married and divorce and, and, and reconcile with that person. But when you do, it's going to be the right time. You can't rush God and you can't rush progress. Let them learn to grow. Let them, learn, let them live without you. Let them suffer a little bit. But all in all, they're going to circle back around to you because there's nobody like you. You feel like home. You feel comfortable. They can trust you. They can trust you. They can't trust these freaks they go to hotels with. No. And they know it. They know it. Okay? So I'm going to read, read you. I said freed you. I'm going to read you, uh, you all, a couple of messages I have not eaten yet. And it's probably about 2 o'clock, so I'm going to rush through this. From the Hidden Truth Oracle, it's going to be a general reading. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. The next reading may be yours, all right? I just heard Capricorn, and that's me. I'm a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. Libra, Capricorn. I just heard Firefly. I don't know. Motorcycle, Firefly, Libra, Capricorn. So far, Timothy. And Gail, G A I L, not G A Y L E. I clearly see G A I L. Okay, somebody loves. They still go get Shirley Temple curls. They go to the beauty parlor and they get the spiral Shirley Temple curls for one of my ladies out here. Pretty black hair, pretty black. Uh, I'm seeing 43. You could be 43 years old with your first little bit of gray. Okay, that's a good shuffle. Let me do another one. I heard Hampton. Hampton. Okay, I'm gonna spit it out. I just heard Junior Walker and All Stars. Uh, was that him saying shotgun? I hope don't star treachers. He's in rare form. I hope he don't get up. Here, here, child. Get look at him. Playing with the cabinets. Every time I get on video. I'm gonna have to put him in the bedroom when I do my, my, my food channel because everybody ain't used to Arthur. They they don't want to see no kitty cats on the counter. Although my house is pristine. I sanitize and wipe down and Lysol and Clorox and bleach everything in here. But you know, everybody, and I, I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, put him in the bedroom while you record because this is my kitchen. I'm open concept. I don't have a separate kitchen where I can like close the door or, or put him somewhere else. So it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna put my glasses on just so for the heck of it. Hey y'all. All right, the first one that it just popped up, it says, um, so many things remind me of you. This person's reminiscing. They're reminiscing. Matter of fact, everything reminds, go ahead on boy. Everything reminds them of you because you're all they can think about. If they saw a Cinnabon, they would say, oh, my baby used to love Cinnabons. We used to go to the mall together. Or those, if they see an alligator on TV, oh, my baby got an alligator purse. Because they love you and they're too scared to admit they was wrong. Take it from my mouth. Jasper and Susan again. Susan, your, your energy is heavy around me, woman. Heavy. I just heard your name again. All right. Um, I want to. No, it was my fault, but I blamed you. They don't want to take accountability. It was my fault, but I blamed you. They know it. They know. I'm going to tell you something about your conscience. Anybody with a good conscience eventually is going to kick themselves in the butt. Um. Their face, some of them are looking in the mirror. Dang, going, I lost blah, blah, blah because of, man, I got to admit it, my ego's messed up. 
I ain't never met nobody like this before. I didn't know how to act. I'm used to hoochies. I'm used to one night stands. This, this girl wanted to love me like a real human. And I messed up and I see him crying. If they're a real man or a real woman that really loves you, they're going to come. Did you hear that confirmation? Because I did. Okay. Um, I will wait for a sign from you. Oh, y'all. Allow me to get in my feelings. Some of them are waiting on you. Some of them want to be with you. They want um, a missed phone call, an accidental text message. You know how you send a comma or a period. And the person be like, did you mean this for me? And that'll open up the door, a chance meeting. They're waiting for a sign from you. They love you. They want to get back with you. But they think that you're closed off and blocked off and blocked them. And some of y'all still love your person. I mean, damn it, it is what it is. He can look like the little dude on, uh, remember that episode of Good Times? <laughs> Where the little Vitabrite guy came by. He was a little small dude, Vitabrite, little uh, press and curl hair. He could be the Vitabrite guy. Who knows? He could be, uh, I don't know. She could be, uh, let me think, let me think. I don't know. It ain't even about looks. But if it's a soul tie, that don't matter if he's Mr. Vitabrite. If you ain't never seen that episode, Google Good Times Vitabrite episode. You're going to pee on yourself. Okay? This one says, I still wait for a sign from you. I just read that one. Some of them are waiting on you. And sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's okay to give them a sign. Other times, they're going to have to learn to man or woman up and be the one to step forward. But some of them are scared, y'all. Some of them never met nobody like you and you amaze them. You overwhelm them. They can't believe they got you to begin with. And they don't want to make a fool out of themselves. No, nah, man, I can't call her. I can't call her because I never deserved her to begin with. Do you know who she is? Have you seen her? Have you seen Queen Shaw or Queen Shaw subscriber? That's her. That ain't you, man. Yeah, that's her. Look, look. See all these text messages he sent me? See all these pictures? That's my baby. And I done messed up and I want to get back with them, but I'm scared. I'm scared they're going to reject me. I'm scared they're going to call me MF and hang up the phone or, 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 or the worst. But I want to be with them. I done screwed all these other people. They ain't nothing like my baby. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm talking for them because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm hearing what they're thinking. Okay? Oh, wow. All right, this one says, um, I am, oh, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I just talked about the twin flame journey. They're, they're, they're grateful for the spiritual lesson. I just talked about the twin flame journey, how the female twin is always stronger. Well, 99% of the time stronger than the male and you're helping them ascend. You're, you're helping them grow. God may have dispatched you to be with this person to help them, y'all. Whether you're together romantically or not, when you get to heaven, Lord willing, he say, you were obedient. I know you didn't want to be bothered with some of the things this person did to you, but you were still kind to them. That's because you have a Christ-like heart. It's, it's rare to find a Christ-like heart. I'm going to tell you, I had the whole post office laughing the other day. The woman that works there, y'all know I'm stupid, right? And God knows I don't mean any, no nothing kind of nothing disrespectful the woman that works there she's a christian and we always fellowship about the goodness of the lord and uh i said you know jesus was a human being just like us he had flesh he was just like you and me i said and the way they crucified him and the way he said father forgive them for they know not what they do i said it would have been a whole different story had it been me on that on that cross i would have cussed everybody out that lady dropped because y'all know I make expressions when I describe what I'm saying. I said, I would have called everybody a uh, MF, a bastard. I mean, it, it, they just, everybody in that line felt, I said, Lord, please forgive me. But this is our flesh talking, right? But we were talking about how Jesus is always forgiving. And how many times do we forgive the person for doing the same thing over, over, over before we just, you know, push away? It's your heart. I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do. Okay. All right, let's pull this one. This one says, um, just being near you is intoxicating. I know that's right. I know that's right. I got to say this for me. 
When I'm near my soul twin, I feel like I'm on cloud 30. Not even cloud 9, cloud 30. It's just this mag magnetic. Even he said the word magnetic attraction. It's, it, it, chem chemistry, that's what he said. The chemistry between us is unexplainable. That's because we're soulmates. Twin, if you watch it, hi, baby. Hi, hi, boo. Hi, king. <laughs> it's my chocolate chip. Yeah. But you can stand next to anybody else. You ain't gonna feel nothing. But when you next to that daggone soulmate, twin flame, the love of your life, the one that God connected you with, you're gonna be like, oh my God. You feel butterflies. You feel tingly. You feel like can't nothing go wrong. Make your whole day. Don't, don't ask me how I know. And I always say, whatever the outcome of, of any of our soul ties is God's will. I may not ever be totally committed to this person. We may not get married, we, but the fact that we're in each other's lives and we identify that we're soul twins, sometimes it's good enough. You understand me? But I got a feeling your person ain't going to want to hear that. They don't want you with nobody else but them. They done messed up and they're trying to circle the block to come back to you. Mark Charmaine's words on it. Don't let me say mark my word because that means I'm guaranteed. I'm guaranteeing you that. And if the person doesn't want to participate, if they don't want to behave, Queen Shark got to step back because I know what I see. But it's actually up to them. Takes two to tango. It's up to them to come to the dance and dance with you. It don't matter. They can be standing right here in front of my house, a whole human being, telling me I'm going to get back with Shirley, Susan, Jill, Becky, uh, Tyrone, Steve, but if you don't want to get back with them or if you still want to run the streets a little bit, it's not going to happen, at least right now. So it takes two to tango. I can only tell you what I see is a full tango. We're supposed to be. What I've been saying, y'all. I'm going to wrap it up right there. I'm going to go eat my breakfast and get online. Uh, I'm going to hold this up again. <sighs> I wish they would just come out and tell you and act like it and not hold their feelings back and, and be fearful of rejection. Yeah, it's a, it's a love is a risk. Love is a gamble. We don't know what's going to happen. Anything can happen. But you don't want to leave here with regret. Something, God forbid, happens to you or them. And they never said, I love you. You are everything. So I'm about to start crying because I'm feeling some emotions. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I never met anybody like you. You make me want to dance and sing on my worst days. You pull me out of the dull drums. I can trust you. I can talk to you. And I feel like, excuse me, I feel like shit because I treated you like shit when I should have been putting you on a pedestal. When I should have been treating you right instead of serving you on a garbage pail lid and serving this karmic on a silver platter, I feel bad about it. I want you back. I love you. That's what a lot of them are feeling because I feel it right now. And it's not hunger making me say this. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you all to the moon and back. Uh, readings are still $25 for three questions. And y'all know my readings turn into three pages, sometimes four. So you get your full 25 worth. I still have four bracelets. No, no, no. Yeah, four bracelets, four oils, four oils. Monica, I got yours on reserve. Don't worry about it. Four bracelets, four, four oils, and I think six of these keep the devil away from you at work necklace. And my devil got there yesterday up there crying. Don't cry. Don't cry, Satan. Don't cry. Don't cry. Suck it up. Stand on that devil mint you did. All right, y'all, um, Cosby or Crosby could be the last name. I heard Courtney Vance. That's an actor, Courtney Vance. Oh, my God. No, I see a female named Courtney and a man named Vance. Oh, wow. I hope he's okay. Didn't he marry Angela Bassett? Courtney Vance and Angela Bassett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Last name Briscoe, first name Timothy, middle name Timothy. Somebody needs to read the book of Galatians. I just saw Galatians. Maybe it needs to be me. Okay, my storage may run out, so if I cut off, y'all have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Um, 
Somebody loves croaker fish, croaker. Somebody loves to go fishing and they love catching croaker, maybe perch. Uh, boat ride. Somebody wants to go on a boat ride with you. They think it's romantic. You may get an invitation to go on a boat ride with somebody. Like one of those dinner ships. Dinner, the dinner cruises around the city. I see Boston. I see Baltimore. Michigan. I see Gail again. G-A-I-L. Last name Green with an E at the end. It could be the regular green, but I also see G-R-E-N-E, -E. last name also gray. First name could be Joyce. I see Turner, like I Turner. I see Paige, P-A-I-G-E. Who is this? Hold on. Somebody saying, please, please, please. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Give me one moment. Please, please, please what? Please tell them what, energy. Say it quick. Please tell them what. Please tell them I didn't mean it. Thank you, Jesus. Please tell them I didn't mean it. Somebody's energy is to my right. Please tell them I didn't mean it, okay? They love you. Uh, they're going to circle back around for some. S-O-M-E. This is not everybody's reading. I love you all to the moon and back. Let me go eat and get online, and we'll talk, Lord willing, tomorrow. Take care.